Hey guys, iOS 10.3 is here. It has been way, way too long with seven betas. I guess Apple wanted to make sure you have a smooth experience when upgrading to the Apple file system, but iOS 10.3 has been released today. Interesting thing to note is that it is actually the very same build number as iOS 10.3 beta 7. So if you were already on that, you're not going to be seeing an update, so carry your update. All right, so as you can see, there it is. Now, you know, for everyone that is watching this and updating to 10.3, you guys will notice a significant reduction in the amount of storage it takes for iOS 10 to run on your device. So I'm actually kind of curious, leave a comment. I wanna see who wins with how much gigabytes they saved. So before updating, make sure to note how much you had. After updating, also and subtract that and leave that in the comment down below. I'm very curious. Personally, for me, I'm seeing increases in about three to four gigabytes on most devices. So as you transition to Apple file system with iOS 10.3, you're gonna notice an improvement in that storage. As for speed, I can't really say, but it feels very smooth. My favorite improvement here is the actual new animation when opening and closing up applications. The borders on the cards are a little bit more rounded, so it does look good. Now, I'm gonna be doing the first speed test in a very long time. I haven't really done them because iOS 10 was doing pretty much the same thing every update, but this time around, we should actually see an improvement in speed. So I will be comparing 10.2.1 to 10.3 here very, very shortly. In this video, I basically just wanted to let you know what's going on right now. Now, iOS 10.3 comes with a ton of new features, most notably the AirPods Finder. So this little guy will help you find your dental floss wherever you lose it using Find My iPhone. It's a built-in functionality now. So it's kind of cool for when you lose this thing under the couch and you can't find it in your immediate vicinity. You do have to be connected over Bluetooth still. There are a lot of features and I've done a full review. It's gonna be hard to do that again in this video. So do watch that if you haven't. And a couple of my notable favorites in this update, what's actually gonna be very handy is in Maps. If you zoom into an area and you get the weather icon, you can now 3D touch on it and get some detailed weather information, which is super, super handy if you're checking that out. You can add it to weather directly from in here or just look at it or just experience a glitch like me. <laughs> There's a lot of great updates to the App Store so you guys can actually write reviews without needing to type your passcode in every single time. You can rate reviews helpful or not or the developer can actually respond to your reviews which is cool. So if you have an issue, you can directly contact them through the reviews page here, which is nice. There are a lot of these smaller features throughout iOS 10.3. Some updates to CarPlay as well. And of course, I don't know what I expected, but the shutter bug has not been fixed. Going from a dark to light environment will create this chop in your video. Very noticeable, especially when taking video professionally outside, it sucks. I mean, by professionally, I just mean you're trying, you know, more than just take your phone and shoot it at something, you're actually trying to get some sort of good footage, you'll notice this whole chop going from light to dark. Apple still hasn't fixed it. I've been talking with an Apple representative though, and he has relayed this info to the team. So hopefully they know what's going on. So in iOS 10.3.1 or something like that, they can patch it. Siri has gotten smarter. She can tell you cricket scores. She can order Uber rides in the future, pay bills or check the status of payments even. In settings, jumping in, you'll notice this new area for your Apple ID and uh, iCloud information all in one area, which is kind of neat. It's a very nice way to optimize that in settings. And iOS 10.3 notably fixes a lot of the text freeze crash bugs that I shared with you. So I'm gonna send one over to this device over here, see what happens. Essentially, your device can power through the notifications and read them. Now, if you send the contact card, it still hangs for a second, but it's not terrible. You know, you can still go in and read it, but if you try and open it, it will crash your messages application. And Apple has been hard at work fixing bugs, namely respring bugs that I've shown you in the past, but there are a couple more still. Hold your finger on the first page over here, click on dictation or the search bar and slide over. Your device will respring. Also another one from the second page, slide over while clicking dictation at the same time. So just like that, click an app. And now when you go back into notification center and click cancel, your device respring's again. So guys, there it is, iOS 10.3, a pretty significant update. You get some storage optimization, speed improvements, and a lot of smaller features. As for the speed test, I'll have that up in just a little bit here. I'll be doing it across the range of devices for you guys to tell if it's faster or not. I'm actually very curious. Now for jailbroken users, of course, you're not updating. Uh, if you're on an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus on 10.2, I would recommend you stay there. I still have faith that Luca might release a jailbreak for those devices as I have an iPhone 7 Plus on 10.2. I'm saving just for that if it happens, but there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed this update. If you will be updating to it, stay tuned for the speed test. Peace.